While we have blockchains such as Ethereum, Tron, Cardano, and others, there will always be blockchains looking to capitalize on decentralization with a focus on establishing themselves as a dominant force in the space. One such blockchain that I see often overlooked in their efforts is Icon. Icon has been explained as being South Korea's Ethereum, looking to be the most sought after blockchain for use in the financial district, insurance, hospitals, universities, and more throughout Korea and beyond. Icon has been showing promising potential in their efforts and even showing some impressive transactional volume with over 113 million transactions since inception and over 112,000 over a 24-hour period. Over 315,000 active wallets currently hold an ICX balance. With dApps such as IconBet being a driving force in the ICX transactional volume, which makes sense due to its universal appeal cross borders. However, many new dApps are being created and even directly supported by Icon through its dApp grant program, which is focused on driving adoption of Icon through innovative decentralized app development on their blockchain. Icon is truly building its own self-sufficient ecosystem of applications that appear to take the best of what is on Ethereum blockchain and launching their own versions, akin to what Apple does to Windows, utilizing the best and leaving the rest behind. With their own versions of Uniswap and DeFi applications such as IconSwap, which is an open source service to trade IRC2 tokens against each other, as well as future ICX, liquid ICX, and balanced that bring the potential for a more functioning DeFi ecosystem to the ICON network. In efforts to establish strong cross-chain support, ICON originally announced it may be partnering with Chainlink, but finally confirmed in July of 2020 that it had officially partnered with Band Protocol, which was big news for both parties involved. Now, with ICON 2.0 focusing on built-in interoperability, which has always been one of my key metrics, as well as scalability and flexibility, mixed with next-level cross-chain DeFi solutions and enterprise-level applications, and even a new economic layer incentivizing enterprise partners to join the ecosystem, ICON stands a very promising prospect in 2021 and 2022, having barely dipped a hair below its original ICO price of just 11 cents in January of 2020. The ICX price has risen 339% in the past nine months alone. With an all-time high of $13.16 before the onslaught of regular development additions, new partnerships, and all the bells and whistles to further drive their ecosystem, I see Icon being a contender in the blockchain space for decades to come. In this bull cycle, I wouldn't be shocked to see up to a $28 to $36 ICX token or higher by the peak of the market. Oh, but maybe you're thinking I'm crazy for thinking it and other projects would get as high as I'm predicting. Or maybe you're a serious moon boy expecting higher and you might be let down. But to put things into perspective, Icon launched its ICO on September 16th of 2017 and reached its all-time high of $13 on January 9th of 2018. That's just a period of five months based on an idea of what Icon was wanting to be. Now, they are actually doing it all and more, with just under approximately two years until the peak of the next bull cycle. How long do you think it will take Icon to reach even $15 at this rate?